It's Sunday, a beautiful Sunday. It's the beginning of the NFL football season and Tom Brady has getting to play in what might be the first game of his last season. There's a good chance he'll retire after this season. So I don't know if you'll be watching that or not, but it's just a way to mark time. Those kinds of things are part of the, 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 the history of our society, sports events and those sorts of things. They can produce a lot of excitement and emotional uh, memories and, and they make them, even though they're not tremendously important in terms of what, how they impact the world uh, as, as a, I guess, a, a, an, a, an actual event, they have the benefit of bringing society, or at least some part of it, fans and people with common interests together in what's generally a, most of the time, a positive way. And so, it, so societies and hum, humans have had sports and, and, and things like sports, concerts, outdoor musical type type events as far back as as uh, as written history and and so there's some importance to these things they're not overly important but they have a purpose and and so I think the message there is not so much many things specific about a specific sport but that we are part of a larger group you know and and it's and it's good that we can share things in a positive way with with everybody and uh, and uh, and just you know kind of keep that in mind at the same time keeping in mind that you also have to be your own individual person and the best way to work on that is to practice it and practice the way that you look at the world and practice the way you that you think about things and draw a line between what you decide is important in life and what other people tell you is important in life. Learn how to listen to people and, and, and hear what they have to say and practice learning what's good advice and what's bad advice. And you're not always going to be able to know the difference between the two. That takes some work. But if you know that you should be practicing that and you should be observant as to what's coming into your mind from the outside, that you can you can learn to distinguish between good and bad advice and your own vision for life i love you